Curry Yule. I'm from Yule. I'm representing Yule Baptist Church. We had tried to start our social hall last March. And it's just been one thing after another, dragging our feet, drawing, setback requirements. We've overcome those. And I thought we would take care of this today, but it seems like we're going to have another delay. All we want to do is, is get the two feet changed to one feet, which to me is a simple matter. I don't understand why y'all can't vote and say, you got one foot for this case. And, 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 but we have been dragging our feet, dragging our feet, and we want to get something started, and we can't start it. Can't get a building from it. Because of just one issue. And if you can help us, we'll appreciate it. Thank you. I just wanted to come back up here and say that I think Mr. Ewell made a perfect good point in coming to commission meetings for years. I know how politics works, and unfortunately, uh, a lot of us, including me, get kind of, I guess, irritated with the slow process. Um, the one foot, I think uh, you said it was probably 90% of the counties have it. We're looking at flat counties like Dow and Currituck and Camden with one foot. It's a simple matter. It should have been one foot a long time ago. Uh, we got a lot of stuff in here, and Henry, I know, has worked on this for, for four years. A lot of it never has been changed. In order to change these things, you simply raise up your hand, take a vote, and put it in record. Mm -hmm. And I want to back most of you and everybody else. This is one of those cases that it's time to go ahead, do it. We can have a public hearing, like John and Henry said, and make it legal. Uh, but I sure hope when y'all come back at the night meeting, go ahead and take care of this, because... Uh, we might be able to save a soul down there in Europe Baptist Church if we can get this fellowship hall built. <laughs> I, mean, I, I know that y'all don't want to be responsible for somebody going to hell because of this ordinance. <laughs> and while I got the floor a minute, is Mr. Hoare brought this up prior to as we as going into the hearing about the night meetings. This thing has been discussed and rediscussed a long time before any of y'all were even on the board. And the old board people didn't want it. And I honestly believe that part of the reason and having been a, here was the fact that they just didn't want people to come. Yep. And that might be a bad thing to say. I don't think they want to mm -hmm. keep you away, uh, but it was some various reasons. But Mr. Hall made a perfect good point. This is something else I think you need to think about. If you work for me, if Jack Owens worked for me, I'd let him have his job now because I might use him. <laughs> but if he worked for me and every and he had two or three problems, every time I looked at it, Jack come to me and said, I got to have off on Monday or yep. Wednesday. What's wrong? I got to go to the commissioner meeting. Well, why don't we have it tonight when you're not working? But about 90% of the people work during the days. And it would make sense that in, in Courage Tuck and the other counties, Courage Tuck have all that in Pastor Tuck, I think they have all them meetings, night meetings. We need to address that too, John. I'm behind you 200%. Should have been done a long time ago. Thank you.